am so excited to be here with you this evening on tonight's edition of Conversations on Success, Organo's global platform, where top leaders, top performers, top income earners hop on this platform and share. We share some stories, we share some conversations, we share some information, some wisdom sometimes, even make an announcement or two. So I am so excited to be back on this platform with you this evening. And we have a very, very special guest I'm gonna bring on in just a few minutes, but let me set the stage for the overall theme of tonight's call. If you were titled to title tonight's theme, here's a title for you. Tonight's theme is perspective. Perspective. Not just what we see, but how we choose to see it. Perspective. So the question for you is, what is your perspective on various parts of this business? Now, I won't go into great detail on each one of these, but just to give you some, some perspective on the reason for this conversation, as I'm sure you know, our perspective determines everything. It determines what we say, it determines how we think, it determines what we believe and feel, it determines what we do, it determines everything. So question that I have for you once again is, what is your perspective on the various parts of this business? On overall success, I believe that our vision of success, our desire for success, our definition of success, each of it is different for each and every one of us. So what is your perspective on success? What is your perspective on this profession? This proud business model that we've chosen to be a part of, what is your perspective on that? What is your perspective on Organo, our company? What is your perspective on our leadership? What is your perspective on our system? What is your perspective on the process? What is your perspective on our product? What is your perspective on yourself? and what you're capable of, what you are destined to achieve, what is your perspective? So since this is Conversations on Success, I'm going to introduce one of my very closest friends, and I'm gonna set the stage because hopefully by the end of our conversation, by the end of my conversation with this young lady, you're gonna have an upgraded perspective on what this business truly is. Her name is Benet Simons. She hails out of Stockton, California. She is a super single mom. She is a second grade, sometimes third grade, but this year, second grade school teacher. She is a platinum consultant. Now hold on to your hat. She is a 78, 78 star achiever. 70, did I say 78? 78 star achiever for the past 78 months, including this month, it's the first of the month, including this month, 78 months in a row, consistently 450 points of personal volume flowing through her personal organization, personal back office. Why? Because she has built a rock solid retail base of loyal customers. And she's going to share some of her story and how she has built this business. And most importantly, how you and your team members and most importantly, future team members can duplicate her success. This month, she will be celebrating eight years with Organo. So obviously, I like to hang around proud, loyal, committed Organo distribution partners. So here she is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Benet Simons. Benet Simons, are you out there? Yes, I am here. Thank you very much. I am so very honored and grateful to be here on the call with you tonight. Well, Thank you so much. We're, we're, we're excited to have you. And I'm just going to turn over the platform, step out of the way of greatness, and allow you initially just to, to share your story. And you can share whatever parts of story that you want. Sometimes I might uh, hop in and, and make an interruption, ask you a question, or clarify something. If I have to look down, that means I'm taking notes and also maybe writing down something to, to tie it up at the very end. But please feel free to, to share uh, your story and how you started with Organo and how you've been able to build such a consistent, profitable business based on loyal customers. Feel free to go ahead and take it away. 
Okay. Well, um, it's interesting because at the very beginning, my perspective was that I was um, never going to do anything like that again. Um, your son actually gave me my first latte and I loved it. I loved it and I bought a box, but I told him that no to the business and that I wasn't interested. Um, but then of course I ran out of coffee and called to get some more and um, they sent you. Um, and so when you came, you asked me some questions and those questions led you to show me what I needed to see to become part of this company. And one of those uh, things was the collaboration with Think and Grow Rich. I had read the book before and I knew the importance of the philosophy and the mindset of that book and was very impressed that, um, that Organo was the only company they had ever endorsed. So that was one of the big things for me. Um, plus I absolutely loved the product. And so I decided to, to take a chance and start my business. Um, uh, I guess I'm an overachiever. So of course I started with a gold pack. <laughs> um, and I did what you said, what you told me to do, which was just to go out and share it with everyone. And I ended up selling, I think it was a silver pack before my gold pack came and um, you were trusting and generous enough to support me with the product so that I could deliver to my customers and um, not have them have to wait. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause just for a second because I really wanna make sure that people heard what you just said and appreciate the value of, of what you achieved first and foremost by following some recommendations from someone who is a little bit further along, a little more successful with you. You just said that you started at the gold pack. However, before your gold pack even arrived, you sold a silver pack worth of product. Is that what you said? Yes. How, how did you do that? How did you do that without having any product on hand? Um, I shared... I, I bought a couple of boxes, like the system says to buy, you buy a box of latte and a box of black. Um, and I bought a couple more to share because I wanted to drink <laughs> the ones I bought for me. Um, and um, I just sampled people. And when they liked it, I asked them to support me and buy a box or two. Now, did, did everybody yeah. say yes? Um, Probably 90% of the people that I sampled supported me in the beginning, yes. Okay, so for, forgive me for interrupting. So you started the gold pack, you sold a silver pack worth of product before your product even came in. So the hint, hint, clue, clue to people out there is when we are having conversations with people who, let's just say, use money as an excuse to not get started, as Ms. Simons has proven, it's possible to literally sell your way into the business. Now, in a traditional mm -hmm. business, you can have a product and then you sell the product and receive the, receive the money. That's exactly what she did. So she basically pre-sold the business, got the money. Did you get the money up front or did you wait until the actual your product arrived? How'd you do that? Um, it was about half and half. Okay, okay. So once again, it's possible to earn income before you're even in the business, but before you have a finance situation. So what Ms. Simons has done, hopefully forever, is she has removed off the table the excuse of, I don't have any money or I don't have enough money. In this business, with our product, especially our amazing tasting gourmet coffee and tea, it's not necessary to have product beforehand before you actually make money. You can do that, but it's not absolutely necessary. So feel free, forgive me interrupting, but I, I thought it was an important point. Feel free to continue. Okay, yes. Um, so when my gold pack arrived, of course I had to return the equivalent of a silver pack and then I didn't have hardly any coffee left. So I pretty much from the very first month after my, my initial start 
have had to order a case a month to keep my retail business um, alive. And sometimes two, because I'll run out and sell my own and then have to buy more. <laughs> but it's a good thing. I, lo I, love, I love the product. I love sharing it with people and getting their feedback, how good it is and how it makes them feel and how happy they are to save money. Um, it's just a win-win situation. It sounds like you fell in love with the product first. Do you happen to have any personal testimonies for yourself or, or people who you've shared it and or sold it with that you can share with the Organo family? Oh, I have, I have so many testimonies, uh, amazing testimonies. Um, but for me, the, the, the biggest, in the beginning, uh, there's been testimonies throughout, but the very beginning, about three weeks after I started my business, my oldest daughter had an emergency appendectomy. And she never really healed well. She um, had always had health, health issues in, in the past. So I was very concerned. And then I remembered that I had this product um, so I gave her green tea and spores. Um, she was using the bathroom within five days after surgery, which is really healthy, which never has happened um, for her. She was back to work in 10 days. Um, that showed me what I really had in my hands um, as far as the health component in our products. It just, it changed my perspective again, um, that it's not just good coffee, but what's in it is good for the body and good for everybody. Wow. Um, what, what, yeah. about, what about testimonies for, for yourself? For myself, for myself, uh, my testimony is pretty amazing um, because I have no um, anxiety anymore after taking the capsules on a regular basis every day um, and no pill the doctor ever gave me and that I tried throughout my life um, could ever do that without some kind of weird side effect or feeling that the, the drug gave you. Um, I haven't had a panic attack in eight years. I, I, I go to the dentist without any drugs or any Novocaine or I'm just, um, I'm just a happy person and I'm, I'm even keel and, um, and, and I've incorporated everything I've learned into my teaching, which has made me a better teacher, um, a better mom, a better person. I just, I just love what my life has become because of being part of this company. Now, I'm, I'm definitely going to go back to what you just said about how what you have learned through your organic experience you've applied it to different parts of your life including your your profession as a second grade school teacher but before we do that let me ask you if you just happen to have any other testimonies of of how the product has helped you and helped you grow your business any other testimonies um well yes person per, I, I always think of my personal testimonies um I, I had, um, my father was diagnosed six to eight months to live, um, a few years back. And with the help of a caregiver, I had the doctor sign off the capsule pack so that he could take them in the care home. And I truly believe that's why I got three more happy and healthy years with my dad. Um, before he passed. So that to me meant everything, you know, for, for, I, I, I cannot thank the company enough, Mr. and Mrs. Chua for, for uh, creating this product and, and sharing it with us because it gave me more time with my dad. So you've talked about how the product has helped you how it's helped two members of your family. And I'm sure even though I won't have you listen now, you have many examples of how it's helped people who you've shared with it 
you know, as far as friends and, and customers and even complete strangers. Question for you. Yes. And we, we are all about honesty, integrity, and transparency. And I know you've always been 100% honest and you'll continue to do so. Will you ever stop consuming organic products? Um, no. That's not, no. That is not even a question. It, it's part of my life. It's who I am. Um, I cannot see myself without the organo products. I use everything. I guess you could say I'm my number one customer <laughs> because I love everything, every industry, every, uh, every product, um, right up to the last one that came out, um, Travala, the skincare, the beauty bar, can't wait for my toothpaste to come back. Um, nothing else like it. Uh, can't, I mean, there's nothing that this company has launched that was not delicious and healthy and just beneficial to, to ingest or use, in my opinion, my, my perspective. I am 100% organo for the rest of my life. So here's, here's, a question, here's a question for you. How do you communicate the success stories that you've had with yourself, and with the people who you've cared about? How do you relate that? To, how do you use that in either sampling other people or getting them to, because you interact with a lot of people, whether it's personally or professionally, students and teachers and moms and you know, out there in the real world also, out, out there in the real world. And you are able to identify, because we have these conversations all the time, that you've met somebody, you found out because of how you're able to always build such quick and uh, natural relationships with credibility and trust. People are sharing all kinds of stuff with you, even if they just met you for the first time. And you know in your heart that they could probably benefit from at least trying, but probably benefit from consuming the product how do you transition? Do you walk up to mine and say, hey, I can cure every, everything you ever have? Do you start, you, how do you actually communicate <laughs> no. what you know? Because it's very, it's very important. There, there are so many things that you do second nature now that people out there might take the information that we just share with them and misuse it and maybe even put the, the company in harm from a compliance standpoint. So how do you share a product with somebody to get them to receive it with an open mind and and maybe benefit from it. How, how do you do that? Well, I, I share testimonies. I share, this is what it's done for this person. Um, see what it does for you. I can't tell you it's gonna do you know, anything, but this is what the other people have experienced by drinking the coffee or by using the OGX Phoenix shakes. Um, I show a lot of pictures when people are interested in the protein shakes and weight loss and don't talk a lot and just show the pictures of the success that we have. And um, I ask questions to find out exactly what they are interested in. But I, I you know, ultimately I still lead with the coffee. <laughs> it is so easy to start a conversation about coffee and um, you know, I use a little bit of advertisement on my fingernails and that gets people to ask me questions first. Um, and I also have one of the uh, beautifully constructed recycled purses that we have for our um, bags of life. And that starts conversations all the time without me having to start it. Um, so just any way I can. And I start a lot of conversations with a smile. And how are you today? Um, or a compliment, a genuine compliment, finding something that I like about them or what they're wearing. Um, but just everybody needs to know about our product. That's how I feel. Every person on the planet needs to at least know this is what we have. And 
and with that perspective, um, it's grown, of course, over these years to the point where I'm 100% confident when I talk to people about what they need and how I can share it. Wow. Now, we didn't test this out, but what I want you to do, you'll have to say something so that the video will kick over to you, but I want you to show the world your nails, if you can. Hold them up close to the camera. Maybe some people can see it to show okay. how, how organo you are. Hold it all. Can you see it? <laughs> I can see it perfectly. That's old school on the thumb and new school on the ring finger. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. So you, you said so many amazing things so far, and I, I'm sure that everybody is paying very close attention and they are benefiting from this conversation. They're taking notes. I'm going to touch on something that is rarely covered on these calls, and you mentioned it very briefly. You're a second grade school teacher, and re refresh my memory, how many years have you been doing that? Um, 25 years. So yes. you've been doing that for a little bit, for a while. Just a bit. <laughs> Yeah. And she has been teacher of the teacher of the of the year at least once in the past few years. So we, we can guess that she does an amazing job with the future leaders of the world. You mentioned that you do things with your students that is a result of your organo experience. So I'm going to ask it kind of a big picture general question. Have you always been this happy go lucky positive person all the time? And how have and, and also the other question is have you always done personal development? So it, have you always done personal development and how has your organo experience really affected and, and impacted your life individually? If you could kind of explain that, you know where I'm kind of trying to go here. Yes, yes. Uh, well, I used to think that I was very positive and I did some personal development. Like I said, I had read Think and Grow Rich and how to win friends and influence people and a, and a bookshelf of other books. But I wasn't as positive as I really thought because I was only positive on the outside. And what really needed work was my, the positive on the inside, me. And, um, and that's what Organo has helped me do. And, and personal development, it has, you know, it's every day. You have to feed yourself and your brain positive everything every day, just like you have to feed your body food to live. It's the same thing. Um, so it, it's changed my whole perspective on my influence in the classroom. So my students, um, everything is about making choices. And they do affirmations and they learn about growth mindset at seven and eight years old because that's going to help them have a different perspective about themselves. And that's where it starts with you. That is absolutely amazing. All right. So far, we have mostly spoken just about the, the gourmet coffee and tea. You very briefly mentioned Travala. What talk about your your success with some of the other products? Let's start out maybe with with BU. You, you, do you like do you like BU? And how have you been able to use that also to build a strong retail customer base? I absolutely love BU. It is the best thing I've ever put on my face. Um, I I've had a enormous success sharing that product as well. Um, every woman that does a pamper session wants it and doesn't want to put anything else on their face. I even recently had a client or customer um, tell me she ran out and she couldn't stand it anymore. So she had made an order because, um, you know, time, life gets in the way and people run out of things and forget. Um, but she was adamant about how much a difference it really made on her face as well. Um, so that, that product I continue to purchase and share with any, any new woman who's interested in clean skincare. Um, and I give out samples. I've 
gone through quite a few of the little samples for people who couldn't make a BU session or um, are very busy and want to just try it out. I have a feeling, I'm going to interrupt again. I have a feeling that there are not a lot of people out there yet who are really utilizing the sampling system that we have that, that's enabled us to generally, to literally generate billions of dollars worth of sales, that they do that with the coffee, I'm sure. It sounds like you're also doing that with the, the skincare. So kind of go a next, next level deep and, and explain how you actually sample the skincare. Um, well, there's, there's little containers that you can get that have um, in the, and the little labels, so you can label them on the bags so they know what's in the container. And then I usually give them, um, depending on the person, a three to five day supply in the container, because a little bit goes a long way. Um, but I mean, I sample everything. <laughs> Is anything that's possible to sample, I'll figure out a way to sample it. <laughs> I've even brought my own set around and just use that um, for people to, to smell it and feel it. Um, but yeah, those, the, those are very handy because um, they all fit together nicely. It looks professional, um, easy for the person to use and experienced the BU skincare um, at their convenience. So obviously you are, you are loving the Organo products and we'll go ahead and wrap it up with you know, the product part of it. Go ahead and, and talk about Travala and, and what it means to you, not only for yourself, but also for your business. Oh, wow, yeah, Travala is awesome. Um, I'll, I, I, all I can say is, I haven't been anywhere in a very long time except for my trips with or to Organo events. I haven't had a vacation, um, been able to plan it, had the money or the time all at the same one, uh, all at the same time. Um, and to be able to call my concierge and tell her what I wanted to do and the rent a car and all of it and be able to take my sister to Hawaii in a couple of weeks to Maui for our spring break is just awesome. I mean, I'm so excited to, to go on a trip for me, like a vacation. And it's the kind of travel, uh, I don't know, it's not a package, it's, not, it's just a travel life that makes it so anybody can take vacations. Anybody can go somewhere they want go to the places they wanted to go. I have so many plans now that I have two forever weeks a year. I just, I'm excited. I've got lists of places to go and, um, and everybody I share it with is, is very interested. Um, already people are um, signed up for the portal just because of those benefits. Um, it's, it's an amazing, amazing, uh, a new, new thing that we have. Now, there's one thing that I definitely want to make sure that people understand, and that is who you're talking to, who you're connecting with. Haven't really understood yet if you're talking just to your quote unquote warm market. Is it just family and friends and neighbors and fellow people at the school and, and people who you've already knew before here? Or are, 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 are you meeting brand new people and generating a customer base from people who used to be complete strangers. Can you talk about that just for a little bit? Oh, sure. Um, well, I remember when I first started, I was told that your friends and family are probably not going to be the ones that are going to support you right away. And I said, okay, but th that was correct. That was correct. It took them a lot longer. So the majority of my customers and um, they're all people I never knew that I, I met just out at the supermarket, at the post office, at some, some of them at school. Um, so they were coworkers, but um, you know, I just sample everywhere I go in my, in my busy schedule. Uh, but not, 
it took two years for my sister to even try a product. So, so yeah, you're, it's, it's funny how that works. You think the people that are closest to you are going to want to support you, but a lot of them are just like, you know, not interested until they see what it's about. But once they see, then they, you know, my mom, pretty much everybody in my family now um, are either customer or a business partner. In order to help, especially the brand new people, I'm sure we even have some guests who will be hopping on here who are not part of the Organo family yet, but in order to help brand new people, can you give us an example specifically on what you say, either with someone who you already know or a complete stranger? on how you would interact with them to get their contact information or get them a sample right away. You don't have to go into great detail, but I really want people to, to know the tactical details on, on, the, on the how. So what do you say specifically when you either meet a complete stranger or when you're connecting with somebody who you already know? Well, when I meet a complete stranger, um, it's usually the four questions. Do you, you know, Casually, I just weave it into our uh, quick conversation. You know, you, you know anybody who, do you or anyone you know drink coffee? And they usually say, yeah, I drink coffee. So we go with the, those four questions, you know, what kind of coffee do you drink? Where do you get it? And then I offer them a sample and then I ask them to follow up, to ask them how they, they like the taste and how it made them feel. And what's the best um, number to text them because most people um, or it depends on the age but I usually ask that because then you get your cell phone the cell phone number and I just kind of hand them my phone and let them put it in so that um, it's easier <laughs> usually and then um, I send them a quick text thank you it was great to meet you talk to you soon so you can see that it is their number because sometimes still give you a number that's not theirs, but that doesn't really happen to me very often anymore. I usually get the correct number. Um, but then there's somebody who I already know, perhaps already a coffee customer. And so I had several of my regular lady friend coffee customers over for BU, and then they became BU customers as well. So, um, First, I think I go with my current customers when we have a new product because they are already um, part of Organo and I introduce it to them first um, or, you know, depending, but um, then I go out towards everybody else who I don't know yet. <laughs> Sounds like you have a lot of activity going on. Two two part question. The first part is how in the world do you stay on top of the follow up, and especially we're just talking. Don't don't go all the way back to the very beginning how you used to do it. But how how are you staying current and staying in on top of all the people who you're interacting with and where you are? Because obviously you're 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 not just building a rock solid retail base. You are building a you know a distribution partner base also. How are you keeping track of what you're doing and who's seeing what and what you've said when and what they said and how are you doing all that? Um, well now, right now, right now I'm using rapid funnel rapid funnel is the new, um, app by Organo and it has actually made it easier and faster for me to build my list, keep it all in one place, um, keep track of who's watching what, when I send it, it's all there to send. I don't have to search around and you know, it's, it's, I really like the new app and it's really helping me, um, expose more, um, people to the, to the product and the business, um, through our system. And so if I only have a half an hour in a day, it's easy using that to take 15 minutes of that half an hour and, you know, enter three new contacts, send out videos for the product they're interested in and set up a follow-up time. Like, it's, it's great. I, I'm really happy about, about that. Excellent, excellent. And are you a, a free member or are you a premium member of the Rapid Funnel? Um, I'm a premium member. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm a premium. I'm yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. it's definitely worth it. Excellent, excellent. It sounds like, or people might get the impression that you have a whole bunch of extra free time on your hands, and you're sitting around just you know little second graders. They don't need a lot of attention and. You don't have any homework or any, not a lot of work, all that kind of stuff. So I, I want you to help people understand if that's true and you're just sitting around just living the number one lifestyle already or how much extra time, let me, let me ask the question properly. How many hours, let me ask two questions. First question is how much retail sales, give us a range and you've been doing this for 78 months. For the record, ladies and gentlemen, it's actually longer than 78. Before the Star Achiever program, we used to have something called the Case Club, so I'm not sure how, how high it goes for, for Ms. Simons, but let's just give her credit for 78. What are you doing to not only get your customers, but what are you doing with regards to, and actually I lost my train of thought all of a sudden, where was I? What were they getting ready to ask you? Can't even remember what I was getting ready to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> get it, get in, get in your customers. And my mind just went completely blank. What was I just talking about? Getting you, getting your customers. <laughs> how, how do I get, how do I get my customers? Um. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can't help me either. I, I, love I know. A, a, a brand new life. All right. So here, here's a question. It, it's about, you're asking me no, it's how about much time. time I have. Yeah. How much time? yeah. How, how, first of all, how much are you selling on average in a range every single month? How much are you selling? Just a ballpark. Not how much you're earning from a profit standpoint, but just how much okay. total are you selling? Just kind of ballpark. It's an average, probably about a thousand a month. Okay. What's the upper end of that? Um, I had an eighteen hundred dollar month last year. Okay, but it's it's pretty consistent, right? Yeah, and that's that's all retail, so just per, order, person person not on not including the online sales. Okay, and so taking that into account, let's just be conservative and say anywhere between eight hundred and eighteen hundred dollars of retail sales every single month. How much time is it actually taking you? on a daily or a weekly basis to generate that, those sales? Um, probably less than 10 hours a week is what I have. I'm more, more time on the weekends, I, you know, but during the week, um, I often have meetings after school and trainings after that, or, um, so there's not a whole lot of time during the week. Um, I do have, weekly meetings occasionally, um, like between five and seven. Um, but on the weekends is mostly, but I would say 10 hours. Yeah. You mentioned that you go to events. How have events helped your business and your overall personal development? And how have events been a part of your eight year now, this month, uh, Organo journey? Oh, events are a must. I, I don't think I've ever missed a major event since I started. Um, even, you know, but you, I wouldn't call them minor events, but other events that, you know, we've driven to down south, um, events we've flown to, uh, never miss, missed a major event that we've had in the last eight years they are an integral part of, of your perspective, I have to say, about this company. For you to really understand and feel this company and what it's all about, and, the, and it's family. It's a family of um, people who want you to succeed, not just in your business, but in life. And you truly, truly feel that when you go to events, you hear testimonies of people telling their story at events that are so impactful to your perspective. Um, the events are just uh, amazing. And you get to meet everyone because everyone is just a person like you and me. 
um, no matter where they are in the company, uh, we're all family. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, every, every single event I've ever been to has been worth it 100%. It has been exhilarating and so educational in every way, personal development wise, uh, company wise, and product wise. So events, you've got to go to the events. Yes. Two final questions for you this evening. And thank you so much on behalf of the entire Organo family for sharing your story. You have shared such amazing information and nuggets. And I truly believe that this, this call will, will, will live on as people share it, as people look at it multiple times to really help them understand how they can build a profitable business during the normal course of the day around their existing schedule and really the, the foundation of what Organo, I believe this industry truly is, is based on, on, on loyal retail customers. So final two questions. First question is what specific recommendations do you have for the Organo family out there in how they can duplicate your success either personally or through their organization? What just final either a recommendation that you might have for the Organo family? Um, well, I guess I would say get out of your own way. Don't let fear get in your way and just share with everyone you come across. Um, it's best to ask questions when you're having a conversation because then you know what people are looking for. Um, but share. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really that simple. The more you share and the more people know about the product and the business, the, the better, you, better everyone is. Sounds pretty simple. Any yep. final words or message that you have for, for the Organo family? And any final closing words? Uh, well, again, I'd, love to, I, I, I'd like to thank the Chua family for their dedication and for creating Organo and providing the opportunity and the products to everyone for, you know, regular people like me. And I'd like to thank Mr. Paul Caldwell for um, coming in and, and doing an amazing job as our new CEO, um, just giving us a bright future and so many things to work with. Um, but most of all, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Richardson. You have been an integral part of my success, not just in business, but in life, as my friend, as my coach, and as the amazing, compassionate, caring leader that you are. And I truly don't, I, I really believe that I would not be where I am today if it was not for meeting you, because you are part of Organo, and together, you guys have changed my life. And I am happy and grateful every single day for that so much. Thank you. Wow. Well, thank you so much for those, those kind words. And thank you for sharing your story. And feel free, don't, don't, don't do what you're going to do. Feel free to go ahead and just leave it, leave it on. And if you happen to be able to say a, a goodbye at the end, uh, it'll stay on me for the, for the rest of the, of the conversation. So once again, Ms. Benet Simons, 78 star achiever, celebrating eight years. I don't see the Facebook feed in front of me, but feel free and please give her your love, send her your comments and send her your, your, your positive thoughts and prayers because I believe she is truly the, the foundation of Organo. I know she's not the only one out there and I look forward to hearing more stories out there on people who are building this business properly. And I hope that your overall perspective on this business, on this company, on the opportunity, on, on what it can be for each and every one of us has been upgraded or at least expanded. So I have a, should I say confession? I have a confession to make. 
And the confession is, you have actually been tricked into participating in a training session that was disguised as a conversation between two friends. This is a training session that has trained you on something for those of you who have been around for a while, you've been listening to, you've been hearing over and over and over and over and over again, but we disguised it in the form of a conversation with a whole bunch of cool personal stories. What did we just train you on? What did Ms. Simons just give you the best training I've heard possibly ever about something? What did we just train you on? We trained you on the four steps to success. What did she share with us? The first thing she did is she became a product of the product. She, gained, she sampled everything to see how she liked it, see which one she liked the best. She became a personal consumer of the product. She developed a relationship with the product outside of the compensation plan, which gave her the armor to go out there and share it with the world. She talked about getting her two boxes right away so that she had something to sample to sell that silver pack before her gold pack came in, silver pack worth of information. She talked about the list that she started out with and has continued to build, utilizing now the, the great resources of Rapid Funnel. She talked about building her list of coffee drinkers and make no mistake, she is building a world-class distribution business also. We talked mostly about the retail just for the sake of this conversation. So she talked about having a list and utilizing the tools that the company has provided for us, Rapid Funnel, and she's using that to not only feed it, but also stay on track because as we talked about before, as you already, as you still know, the fortune is in the proper follow-up. She talked about the coffee and jazz mixers. She might not have used that term, but she talked about the gatherings that she has for the coffee and jazz mixers, her pamper sessions, her travel parties. She goes to, what is it called, Bunko or Bingo or something? She, some type of gatherings with, with some of her friends. I know she's laughing. At, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but she will take every opportunity to do this in the normal course of her life. And if she's gathering with a group of people, guess who volunteers to bring the beverages? always miss Simons and always does it properly, always meets brand new people, exchanges contact information, nothing over the top. She's not selling during a, a casual gathering, but make, make no mistake, they have understood that she loves whatever she's drinking. They like it too. So they feel comfortable when she happens to follow up with them as promised. And that's how she continues to build that foundation of customers. That's step, that's step two, step two and three. Step four, she talked about the events. The events that are going on all over the world. I truly hope that you are paying attention to what is going on all over the world. It's easy to get distracted by all the noise on whatever's happening on the news, whatever's happened this, because we're selling so much product, sometimes we run out, it happens because of this and that, certain things happen. There are so many great things happening all over the world. All you have to do is pay attention and focus on the positive and you'll see the amazing events that are already happening. Just this past Friday, if I'm not mistaken, within the last few days, an outstanding event in Laos where Crown Diamonds, Lilia Batista shared the stage. So many of our leaders, diamonds and blue diamonds, were over there in Laos that are continuing all the great thing. I know it was driven by a lot of our, our, our leaders in diamonds from, from Thailand. Absolutely amazing. I know upcoming and Miss Simons will probably be in the same vehicle heading down south. We haven't talked about it, but we're heading down south for the Super Saturday. North America, I think their first official corporately so supported event happening in February 8th, I'm sorry, happening April 18th in Anaheim, California. Uh, definitely go to OG Academy to get your information on that and, and sign up if, if your senior business partner says it's an event that you should go to and you should go to it. Uh, we also have in Johannesburg, South, South Africa, we have our business partners, Diamond and Million Dollar Ring Order, uh, Marcus Hasselreiter, our regional vice president, uh, Colin Morgan-Jones, and I, I think she's brand new, managing director, Cornell Von Gron, 
a lot of things are going on and all we've done these past almost 50 minutes all we've been doing is walking you through the four steps have some product have some people to talk to schedule your events plug into our system talked about the four steps using the four questions that's all that we do last time i was graced to be on this stage we we talked about the the proven process of success of properly exposing enough people enough times in a short enough period of time to identify those who allow us to help them with zero emotional connection to what people do or don't do say or don't say and just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again so i'll ask you that question again what's your perspective what's your perspective on success it's very easy especially in this profession that we're in to get distracted by the success of others because it's so obvious they earn the right to be on stage to be on calls like this to to speak to the to the family because they've achieved the levels of sapphire and ruby and emerald and diamond which they should people like ms benet simons are the foundation of this business people like her customers are the foundation of this business and i believe that is true success as an organo distribution partner is to fall in love with the product share it with the world and then provide it to those who like to benefit from it not very complicated at all i'm not sure what else to say that's that's really about it we're going to probably wrap up this call and it's been such a uh, a privilege to once again be on this platform i thank you miss simons feel free to say goodbye and wave one more time thank you thank you very much it's been an honor very much so thank you you know once again for for sharing your stories and you are the epitome of loyalty unity edification honesty integrity and transparency and i am so proud of you for being such a proud and loyal and, and committed friend and, and distribution partner and i look forward to seeing each and every one of you out there at the next big event i look forward to seeing and hearing your success stories we're going to go ahead and cut it off here and i wish each and every one of you success here's the final kind of challenge for you i interact with a lot of people all over from from all over the world and when i hear their stories on what they did to get to that point whether it's leaving their home country and coming here to the united states for a better life whether it's the short-term financial challenges they've always they've been able to overcome whether it's the health challenges that they had or people who they cared about whether it's the relationship ups and downs that happened whether it's the challenges that they that they have at their their work or their business and they have come to a point and i want you to compare and think about all of the things that we have gone through to be on this call tonight all the challenges that you've been able to get through all the the victories that you've had and i want you to compare that to the activity of simply sharing an amazingly tasting gourmet beverage with a friend of making a connection of trust and credibility building a relationship of credibility and trust having someone share with you simply not only what they've done but more importantly what they want to do and then you identifying how you might be able to help them the one thing i wanted to i did want to to mention ms simons has given you an example of how if you choose to do so you can live in the entire organo ecosystem as a customer and as a business building distribution partner she chose you how you could do that it's not necessary it's it's easy for someone to get distracted with all of the options and think about coffee and travel and skin care and this and that and be all over the place but the one thing that she has done extremely well is she starts out with the connection with the connection between human being to just two human beings and I'm not going to bring her back on to answer this because I know this is the case she doesn't prejudge what somebody might want to benefit from before she's had the conversation 
She doesn't look at this person and says, I'm gonna get that person as my coffee customer. She doesn't look at this person and say, hey, this person probably could use my OGX because dot, dot, dot. She doesn't say, oh, I wanna share the travel to travel with them. She has a relationship, she, she has a conversation with another human being. And just because of the amazing way she has of asking questions and building a relationship, she quickly knows which lane to go down and she effectively can juggle all of those products and services that we provide. But in the beginning, as she said, feel free to go with what you love. Maybe it's coffee, maybe it's the BU skincare, maybe it's Travala, maybe it's OGX. We have the answer for the people out there and all we have to do is utilize the amazing system that starting with our original CEO and founder, Mr. Bernard Chua, his amazing wife, Adeline, super mom, Shella, our great people at the corporate office, Mr. Edward Vargas and Ms. Christelle, our, our, our new, our new um, you know, majority owner, Mr. Paul Caldwell. All we have to do is take what they had have given us and share it with the world. This has been Stephen V. Richson. Such a privilege to be here and we will see you at the top. Take care, much love.